Hello, this is Stuart Mackey for Social Media Video Podcast, socialmediavideopodcast.com, and this is Social Media Video Podcast Episode 8, How to Add a Facebook Page Admin. So we're going to go to Facebook, and here is my normal news feed. And there's a couple different ways you can access the page. Now, if you're a page admin on a page already, you have to see the page over here on the side, or you can click more and it'll show all the pages if you have more pages than what fits in this space. So you can just click the name of the page. And the default behavior, if you haven't changed it, it's going to say you are posting, commenting, and liking as page name. Now, I changed my default behavior um, because I thought it was easier to do because sometimes I wanted to reply as myself to a comment and it wouldn't show up that way. Also, it makes it hard to like your own comments as your person if you don't have this setting change. So now the Facebook is rolling out a new page layout and this page has one of the new layouts. So I'm going to kind of talk through both methods of doing this at the same time. On the old format, there's going to be a edit page button with a little drop down arrow that looks similar to this. And you're going to click that and then in the drop down, click um, manage admin roles. On the new setting, you're going to click settings here and then click admin roles. And then you, if they're your friend, you can start typing their name. And select them and their Facebook profile pic will show up. And then you, after you've selected the person, you need to select what level of person you want them to be. Now from least access to most access is insights analyst and all they can do is see your page insights or your stats. That's it. Can't add a post, can't edit anything, can't delete comments. Advertisers, uh, in addition to viewing their insight, your insights, they can create ads for you. Now these ads can be sidebar ads, they can be inline ads, or they can be promoted posts or any kind of ad associated with driving traffic to your page, but they can't create a post. A moderator can't create a post either, but what they can do is they can delete uh, comments that you don't want on your page. They can respond to comments from people on your page and that kind of thing. But again, they cannot create posts. Content creator is the thing you're going to want to use most often. A content creator can create posts, delete posts, edit just about every setting on the page except add other page managers. So they can um, change the cover art, they can change your profile pic, and they can change the page tabs or apps as they're called now. And last but not least, of course, there's a page manager and a page manager has complete control of all aspects of the page, including being able to add or delete other page managers. Now I'm not positive, but I don't believe anyone has the permission to delete the person that created the page the first time. So I'm not sure. Ultimately, if you're not your they're not your friend, or if you're logged in as your page by going up to the upper right hand drop down menu and clicking the name of your page, you can put their email address in this box instead. So this is actually what I want, content creator, and I'm going to click save. It's going to ask for my password again. And I have now added a page manager. You can also delete page admins by clicking the little X's over here on the edge. So that's pretty easy to do. Um, this is real important if you are creating pages for someone else so that you can add them as a page manager on, on their own page. If you're hiring an outside social media management company, you're going to need to be able to do this. Um, this They also have to be a page manager to be able to access your page via third-party tools such as Hootsuite or buffer app or any of the other third-party social media tools so that is how you add a page manager to your facebook page if you have any other questions you can visit me online at socialmediavideopodcast.com or on youtube social media video cast if you're interested in how to create a podcast i have another show called the pocket podcaster and the pocket podcaster is all about how you can create a podcast or a youtube video or channel with using nothing but your iPhone and a few accessories that you can carry in your pocket, microphone, tripod, etc. So if you're interested in that, visit pocketpodcaster.com. 
Both of these shows are available on iTunes, so please feel free to leave a review. We would appreciate it on iTunes or leave comments on the YouTube or blog posts. Thank you very much for watching Social Media Video Podcast, and I look forward to seeing you next time.